What's up everybody, Kevin Barnett here, Carbine3D, and today we're gonna to look at a pixelated image that maybe a client would send you or a friend. You wanna put it on something, you have to clean it up. We'll use Photoshop, we'll use the free program GIMP, a couple of quick hacks to improving the images to bring into Carbide Create. Carbide Create has the trace feature. Let's go ahead and bring the original image in, no alterations to the trace function, just the standard settings, and you can see this is not going to work. You're not gonna engrave that on anything, that's a mess. So we need to make some alterations. First into Photoshop, our original image, we go ahead and head up to image size, and then we're gonna alter the resolution inside Photoshop. Do it two different ways, I did 1000, then I did 5000. So I did two different alterations of it and output two files, and I'll show you the difference once we import them into Carbide Create. Original image is there. Here is the 1000 and already you can see it is drastically improved. The log cabin looks pretty good. The letters don't look good, but I don't trace text. Unless it is absolutely perfect, I replace the text in these types of situations. So that's pretty good. How about the 5000? Let's import that one and see if we get even better results. Here, I like it even more. We've cleaned up the cabin a little bit. It has a nice log cabin look to it. I might use the node editor later, but right now the trees look really fluid. Again, the letters, not okay. We're not gonna put that W on anything. But I do like the look of the cabin. I do like the look of the trees. So if we replace the text with whatever font we want, go ahead and lay that in and you'll have nice clean text. And then convert to curves is coming. If you're on the beta right now, you have it. These are the improvements we're bringing to Carbide Create. Vintage is not even gonna be close, so we'll replace that as well. And all of a sudden, we have an image starting to look like something you might engrave or you might be able to sell or you might be able to give to someone. That looks pretty good. The note editor could be useful here if you'd like to clean up the door, the door handle, whatever you wanna do, the note editor is there to make the final tiny alterations. If you don't have Photoshop, let's give you GIMP. And in GIMP, the process is very similar, but two different commands. You're gonna to go to scale image, then you're gonna alter the image size. So you can play again with 1000 with 5000, and I'll show you the results as we import those. Export a couple of files, name them appropriately, and then we'll import them into Carbide Create. Experimentation is the key with all of this. Go ahead and try things out, spend the time. We'll import the original again. Still looks terrible, no changes there. How about the 5000? Here's the GIMP file. And I actually like the construction of the wood cabin even more inside GIMP than I do in Photoshop. I don't like the trees, and again, I hate the text, but the cabin looks really good. Every software is gonna be a little bit different. You have to establish your own workflow. I have here, what, five different ones to come up with one that I really liked? So experimentation is the key. Whether you have Photoshop or you're using another third-party program besides GIMP, whatever it may be that you're using to alter images and bring them in, experiment over and over again. You can mess with the threshold as well inside Carbide Create to see what results that will produce. For Photoshop, it's going to be image size, alter the resolution in GIMP, scale image, alter the scale. That's it. Thanks for being here with us at Carbide 3D.